International Test Match Polo is brought to you by Lexus. In 2008, New Zealand played England on home turf in a thrilling action-packed encounter and finally broke their three-match losing streak by beating the English 11 goals to eight. Now in 2010, England are back down under, determined to revenge their loss and take home the silverware. Welcome to the Narakau Polo Ground here at Kiki in the Waikato, where New Zealand Polo puts its coveted International Challenge Trophy, the New Zealand Rose Bowl, on the line today in this one-off test match against England. Test match fever is higher than ever here as Kiwi and English fans pack around the ground. Conditions overhead are perfect for playing polo. Thankfully the rain has held off, just a bit of a breeze to cool the ponies. So buckle yourselves in to watch one of the oldest sports in the world and see which team will etch their names into history on the fabulous New Zealand Rose Bowl Trophy in 2010. Uh, I think the key today for us to win is to play as a team. Uh, realistically, this game is 80% horses, 20% players. Whoever wants to win the most and, and works well as a team, I think we'll come out the winner today. You look at the two teams and we're all really even uh, every, in every position, so it's going to be about who makes the least mistakes. The big key is going to be finding the horses and hoping that we've, we've managed to come up with some horsepower, because that's what this game's all about. It doesn't get bigger than international test match polo, so let's quickly run through this classy English side. Playing in the number one position is James Byam, a superb rider who's renowned as one of the game's best ball players who can play all the shots. At two is Mark Tomlinson. He is one of the hardest working players in the world of polo. At three is the vastly experienced, big hitting Malcolm Borick, rated on six goals. And at four, captain in the side is Luke Tomlinson, older brother of Mark. He is a class act and England's highest rated player on an eight goal handicap. Looking at the Kiwi team now, leading the attack at one is the nuggety Craig Wilson, who's never shy of giving 120%. At two is Tommy Wilson. He is New Zealand's most experienced player, having first worn the Silver Fern back in 1993. Captain the side for New Zealand at three is the world-class John Paul Clarkin. Known to most as JP, he is a true gentleman who has all the talents of a superstar of the game. And at four is the big-hitting Sam Hopkinson in his first test versus England at home, so a big occasion for the youngster of the side at 27 years of age. Like in the game of golf where everyone has a handicap reflecting their ability, the same exists for polo. Beginners start on a minus two, and as they improve, they progress up to a maximum of a 10 goal handicap. There are only a handful of 10 goal rated players in the world, so as you can see, the New Zealand side with a total rating of 27 and England 28, today's test match has some of the world's finest players. <laughs> 